Good evening, welcome back to a clear channel. Tonight I'm uh, with Martijn and we are back at the house of nothing on a clear but a very windy night. We are out for revenge on our previous shoot uh, where it was cloudy and we are hoping to shoot Orion. Let's go. Okay, so uh, behind me you can see that uh, Corneille also joined us tonight. Uh, we are just, whoa, I'm blowing over. The wind is pretty harsh. <laughs> uh, our first uh, track shots are now running. Uh, it's still pretty clear, a little bit of puffy clouds, but we're not too worried about that. We've set uh, up our tripods very low to the ground uh, so that we oh yeah, hope to dodge the wind a little bit. I'm also choosing a higher ISO, ISO 3200, uh, a lower f-stop than I usually do, uh, f2.8 and only 30 second shots. And uh, yeah, that looks, uh, that looks good, I get a good histogram. So uh, yeah, Orion is still a little bit low, but uh, for this composition I have in mind, I think about a 16 by nine crop maybe, it should work pretty well. Yo. Everything under control, Martijn? Yes. Yeah, for now. it's running. Yeah. Settings? Uh, F4, 45 seconds, ISO 1600. F4, 45 seconds, ISO 1600? Yes. All right. And I see already the horse. Nice. Getting Looks good, good. <laughs> getting good. Okay, so uh, we've been shooting for about half an hour now. I'm going to uh, put in my H-alpha filter to get some more H-alpha detail, Bernard's loop, etc. So uh, first I'll uh, give the lens to Martijn, which is handy. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Put the mirror lockup on and I have to find my um, H-alpha filter. <laughs> so while uh, my lens, my sensor is being blown away, We're going to put the mirror lock upon and put the bugger in. Okay, thank you. Let's shoot some nebula. While our cameras were doing the hard work, we were able to slow down and enjoy the night sky. Well, it's getting colder and colder. Our cameras remain shooting. Corneille also just put in his uh, H alpha filter. And what are you shooting uh, for the rest? Is this live television? It's live television, okay. yeah. Hi, Sorry. mom. <laughs> uh, I'm shooting uh, Orion for the first time this season. The last, first time? Last time was January uh, 2000, uh, 2023. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because Netherlands and Europe and everywhere was three months or so covered yeah. in clouds. You, you did try to shoot Orion in the UK, I think. <laughs> I, can, I can't remember that trip. <laughs> no, no, that, no, that was a good trip, but uh, we filled yeah. a little bit with the clouds. But yeah. um, we, yeah, we did a nice try. So, but now uh, it's crystal clear. Uh, check that, check, check, check. We're shooting, yeah. uh, shooting H Alpha right now. I got a pretty good stack at 20 millimeters. Yep. I don't know how long, but I think about 50 minutes or something. And your memory card was full. He, yeah. was, <laughs> he was doing a five minute H alpha shot and his memory card was full. <laughs> Oops. But hey, uh, still a good night, I think. Uh, after this, I think we will, uh, yeah, I have to shoot my foreground. Martijn is now shooting his foreground and I think we'll go to the coast and we'll uh, shoot some sickness there. So uh, the story continues. Let's go. Did we get revenge on our cloudy night from last month? I'll show you soon, but first let's go to our second location for the night. So uh, we are now on the way to the coast. We're going to Patton and we're going to a really familiar hut. I've been there before, but Martijn has been one time, I think. Yeah, for the Great Rift. For the Great Rift, and it was a long time ago. So uh, let's do it again.
just uh, set up here on a row uh, by the path. We have the uh, familiar hut. A long time viewers will know this hut. And we are thinking um, to uh, leave our tripod uh, at exactly the same position as where we are tracking for a change because it's really good possible here. Uh, we have a clean horizon line. The uh, hut is uh, yeah, just below the horizon line. So uh, we're all tracking now. I've chosen a uh, uh, 24 millimeter composition vertical now uh, first going uh, for some uh, stacked sky shots because sickness is getting really low on the horizon and I guess we uh, have kind of the same composition all three here but uh, still pretty clear it is also cold here but we are in a sort of yeah mini valley I'd call it between the dunes and the sea and uh, it's uh, a little bit more relaxed here so uh, Let's trek and enjoy the night sky. We just finished uh, shooting our uh, tracked sky shots. I think we all have about half an hour of data. I'm now going to uh, adjust my uh, composition a little bit down and I'll uh, blend the two later. I think I'll come away with only a simple uh, uh, single exposure. I think I'll uh, leave the settings the same. ISO 1600, F4 and one and a half minute or something. So uh, should be good. All right, so uh, we are done with this little hut now. Um, Corne just uh, making jokes as always, which you are going to edit out because it's not made for kids. <laughs> now we really enjoyed our time here again at this hut. Um, yeah, what else is to say? Um, do you prefer the hut or uh, the previous location, the house of nothing? The hut. The hut, yeah? yeah. All right, you? The hut of nothing. The hut of nothing. <laughs> kind, of, kind, kind of both, kind of both. Yeah. Yeah, I th I'm not sure which I prefer, uh, like both locations, had a great night, freaking cold, but we yeah. really don't care because we see stars and uh, if we see stars we're happy. <laughs> Definitely. If the shots are turning out to be any good and I'm totally sure of that, here are our shots. Thank you guys for watching again and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. Dah. 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 So while Martijn just discovered Jupiter, let's take a look at our raw files. At the first location, the House of Nothing, I've shot about 20 RGB shots uh, of uh, Orion, track shots of uh, ISO 3200, 20 millimeters f4 and only 30 seconds because of the wind. Uh, yeah, it's still tracked pretty well as you can see here, sharp stars. You can just about make out the uh, horse head nebula here, of course the uh, Orion nebula, just a little bit of Bonnard's loop. But to boost this one, I have also shot uh, a bunch of H alpha exposures and they look like this and you can see that uh, yeah Barnard's loop shows up really well here the horse at nebula rosette also lots of details uh, H alpha details in the uh, Milky Way here um, after that I stacked the RGB and the H alpha and uh, gave them a boost and after a bit of editing uh, it comes out like this I've had a little bit of difficulty here color balancing it to make it look uh, natural but I think this turned out pretty well uh, foreground wise, um, I've made a little panorama of the house um, uh, which combined this shot with this one because I really wanted to make my cutoff point after this uh, cluster, group of cluster of uh, trees here just at the right of our cars because yeah I think that looked a little bit better and uh, yeah the foreground looks like this you can just about make, uh, make up Orion here. Um, and at the little hut, uh, we use the same tripod position. And uh, yeah, uh, one of these uh, tracked sky exposures looks like this. You can see the hut here, the North America nebula, of course, the Milky Way just above it. Uh, I use settings of ISO 1600, 24 millimeters and F4, uh, shot at 90 seconds. We can uh, do this uh, because we're shooting over the sea, really dark. Uh, color wise, you can see there's a lot of air glow in the sky here also. That's the uh, green tint here. Uh, I've shot about, yeah, I think 40 shots, but I only used 20 because otherwise my horizon line would get um, yeah, at a weird angle. 
And the foreground wise I only used a, a single exposure uh, at exactly the same settings as my sky. I just moved my um, ball head a little bit down but I left my tripod at the same position. Um, yeah, what, you, what is pretty special about this is uh, you can see the eyes here, which normally isn't here, which gives it just a little bit of extra special something. And uh, yeah, if you combine all those shots uh, at the House of Nothing and at the Hut, you can uh, get a result like this. I don't need much to get happy. <laughs> he doesn't need much to get happy. Don't tell his wife. <laughs> <laughs>